So if you're a golfer who's looking for a very simple but effective view of the golf swing, of how the golf club moves to produce nice, well-struck and straight shots, this is the video for you because we're going to be talking about an extremely simple concept of swinging the club around the shoulders, which will one, keep the club on path, keep it moving on the arc and increase your chances of hitting the middle of the club face with a thought as simple as that. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So, swinging the club around your shoulders. Yes, very simplistic way of viewing the golf swing, but it's extremely effective, especially for you guys out there who have far too many swing thoughts. I know that's a lot of you out there. This really cuts to the meat of a lot of the important stuff. So, as we know, what I'm talking about and what I'm meaning by this is swinging with your club being around, or you could even view or feel like it's a little bit underneath your right shoulder in the backswing. And then in the downswing, coming through the shot, you're finishing with it traveling underneath your left shoulder. So around your shoulders there. Now, why that's so beneficial? Because it controls a good few things. Keeps the club moving on the arc. Remember, we're standing to a golf ball. The golf ball's on the ground. We need to swing on an arc around the body. So swinging around the shoulders helps that to happen. Number two, control your club path very nicely. So you won't be swinging quite a bit over, you'll be calming down your slice. And three, it encourages good connection between your arms and your body, which will then control the strike. Let's dive into those points a little bit deeper. So the first point we touched on there, swinging on more of an arc around our body. Now this is very simplistic. Of course, targets down there, we're standing side onto it, the ball's on the ground. We have to be in a golf posture. Have to be a little bit bent over to be able to hit that golf ball. So. We need to swing the club around our body to be on an arc. The club moves on an arc around us and the hands move on a mirrored arc around us as well. So when you swing on more of an arc, you're going to be able to keep the club on a better path. Your swing direction, funnily enough, is going to be a lot better and your strike control is going to be a lot better as well. Because if you don't swing on your arc and you disconnect away from it the entire time, you're most likely going to have a very choppy, very steep across golf swing, hit very slicey, very weak shots. That's for certain. So let's dive into the other two. So the second point, we're going to have much better path control. Now, as we said, we're swinging better on the arc. We are going to have better path control, but a little bit more in depth of why that is, is because when we're swinging with going around our shoulders, we're going to be getting what's called deeper with our hands and our left arm at the top of our backswing. So the deeper something is in the golf swing means more behind. So if your left arm, that means a little bit lower. So it's not right up here. It's a little bit lower down. So either really covering your right shoulder or maybe even slightly below, and then your hands being a little bit more behind your body. Now, this will encourage, as you start to move down in the downswing, for the club to fall on a good path. So, much better path generation, because if golfers, again, are doing the old classic swinger swinging down the line, my left arm gets very vertical, it travels dead straight up, and so do my hands. So you can see how they're over my body, not slightly behind there. So now, as I turn down the downswing, boom, over the top golf swing, slices, pulls, poor strikes, not a fun time. So that's gonna help massively as well. So the third point, better connection in the golf swing. So again, this is very much backswing orientated here. When we have better connection in the backswing, we're gonna have our arms a little bit closer, more pinned to our side as we're going through the swing here. That's gonna help with all the other points we just talked about, keeping the club on the arc, having better path as well. But when we're more connected with our arms and our body, we can then control our limbs, so our hands and our arms, with our pivot, so how we're moving our body. That means a more consistent golf swing in general, less moving parts. Because if we swung very disconnected, our arms will be moving independently from the motion of our pivot. So that means we have another variable that we have to manage in the golf swing. Again, very inconsistent. It'll be very hard to be able to control your strike location with your arms being very disconnected. So swinging again, more around and underneath your shoulders will keep your arms more connected, especially this one, the left arm. It's gonna mean much better consistent strikes and path of your golf shots. So downswing, of course, it's gonna help massively and it's gonna help you continue to turn through the golf shot. So if you're swinging underneath your left shoulder coming through the golf ball, so underneath 
the right for the back swing, underneath the left for the follow through. You're going to be exiting the club a little bit more around your body using good rotation here. So when that's happening, club face is much more stable. It's not shutting down on you all too much. We don't want to be swinging the club down our target line. That's not the goal there. That's going away from the swing arc again. Remember, arc around your body. We do not want that arc to diverge and go dead straight down the target line, because if we do that, we're gonna lose a little bit of power from that momentum being lost. And we're also gonna be having an extremely unstable club face because the arms will be disconnecting away from our pivot from the last little bit of moment through impact. So that means if the arms are disconnecting from the pivot, they're not following the turn of the body, that means the hands are gonna be rotating too much through the shot. Club face is not gonna be square all that much. You can hit some great shots doing that, you can do. You can hit some good shots doing really anything. You can luck it out quite a lot of the time. But it's not gonna be consistent. What's the name of the game here to shoot lower scores? We wanna be more consistent on hitting better shots. Swinging down the target line is not the one to do that. You wanna swing more around you, underneath your left shoulder, more square club face, clubs moving on the arc, you're using your rotation, better connection. How many good things did I just say there? Loads. So you've got to do it here. So let's hit a shot here, swing it around my shoulders so we can see from the slow-mo that it looks quite good. Really, it looks like I'm doing a lot more than just thinking that simple thing. But we're going to dive into it with a drill here and a little bit more of a thought so we do it properly as there is a right and wrong way to do this swinging around your shoulders. So let me hit a shot and we'll have a little look. Okay, let's talk about how to do this properly and we're going to do it with a drill but we're also going to talk about how to do it correctly, as there is 100% a wrong way to do this. So let's talk about that first. What is the wrong way of doing this before we dive into this cool drill here? So the wrong way of doing this is doing it all with your arms. So if we do it all with our arms, that is not going to help us all too much. We're going to have a few bad things happen, especially in the backswing. So of course, Swinging around your shoulders, around your right shoulder in the backswing. What a lot of you will be doing straight away is pulling it around you. So when you pull that club around you, your right arm will get insanely behind your body, behind the seam line of your top there. So when that happens, your right arm is completely stuck behind your pivot. So then you'd have to compensate in the downswing. You'd either have to really move that arm back in front again when it's real behind, which will actually throw the club out of you if it is that far behind you. Don't normally see that happen all too much though. What we will see is that arm continue to get stuck behind you, normally a little bit of a steep shaft, and because those arms are so stuck behind the pivot, you'll see the club really approaching into the golf ball quite late, having to cast and throw the angles at it. Not what we want one bit. We don't want that. So that's all because dragging the club in will get the right arm stuck. We want that right arm staying in front of the seam line. So how do we do that? We don't have to think about the right arm. That's how we do that. We think about turning our body because if we turn our body in the backswing, we get good backswing rotation. We will naturally swing around our shoulders. So you could almost view this as turning your body. So if you turn your body, get a good rotation, I'm already gonna swing around my shoulder. So I'm not trying to physically do it with my hands and arms. I'm just trying to turn my body, get a good backswing turn, get my belt loops and my back of my trousers pointing a little bit down the target line, good full turn. What is that doing? That is getting the hands and the club traveling around my right shoulder without getting this stuck behind me. Use your pivot. Stop using your arms to get up to the top of the backswing. It's horrendous. So really from that, and of course, we said it a lot in the downswing portion. Keep turning through the golf ball. Keep turning, that again is gonna get the club traveling underneath your left shoulder, around your left shoulder in the finish. Again, we don't want to be dragging through that club through, because that's gonna again cause you to really have a choppy pass through that golf ball. Really inconsistent strikes. If you do that, you're probably still gonna slice the golf ball if you do that from the path you'll be creating at impact. So again, continue to turn your body going through the golf ball so we can view. Nice turn in the backswing, nice turn through, swinging around your shoulders, very simplistic. Now, can the golf swing be viewed more technically than yet? Of course it can be. That's my whole channel is viewing it in a technical way, but this is for the simplicity of it. Yes, I'm missing out a bunch of stuff in the golf swing here, but if you want to view it in the simple form, this will do you some good. So, drill. Now, as you can see here, 
or one of my favorite training aids, seen a lot of my videos recently, the swing plate. I love this training aid because it is an alignment stick out of a plate, of course, that you can extend out if you have the extension pole. And this is gonna help us massively for swinging around our shoulders. So swinging around our shoulders with this, we wanna put a golf ball halfway underneath the swing plate. So really extend that pole out. Now, what we do from here, Ken, how do we swing around our shoulders in the backswing? Yep, we rotate in the backswing. We make sure we're getting that nice full turn. If we're doing that, we're gonna be swinging underneath this stick. If you swing down the target line, away from you, because you haven't been listening to me in the video, you're gonna hit this. You're gonna hit it straight away. So, you just trying to avoid, this is called an avoidance drill. You're gonna be getting where you want to. But make sure you're turning your body. So, the same thing, we want to avoid hitting it in the downswing. Good turn, back and through, swing underneath the stick. There we go, we've got the simple swing. Swing around our shoulders, boom. Really good training aid. If you want to pick up one of these, you go onto Swing Plate website, so swingplate.com. At checkout, type in J Chown Golf in lowercase and you'll get 10% off the swing plate. So if you want cheaper stuff, use that code for sure. This will be very, very beneficial. I say for loads of problems, pick up one of these because this doesn't just target what we've talked about. You could use this in any way you could use a training aid of a alignment stick for any problem, absolutely any problem. So really useful to pick that up. So as we can see here, simple way to view the golf swing around your shoulders. You know how to do it properly now? So if you're struggling with your golf swing and you want that simple way, you can go do it. So have a good practice on the driving range and I think you'll enjoy this feel. So of course, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button. Of course, hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So swing around them shoulders and you're going to be playing some better golf a lot more simplistically.